Okay, today I'm going to talk about how you can uh, easily cock your rifle, even if you have a high-powered spring. Um, I got a PM asking about this, so that's why I'm going over it. Uh, let's see. This is my rifle that's got an M170 on it. And uh, first thing that's important to cover is the technique on the uh, bolt pull. When you cock it, it's important to emphasize the thumb on the back side of the bolt here. And that is to counteract the torque generated by this arm right here. So you have to focus on that. Think of it on both sides. And then you simply cock the rifle, just bring it straight back, because that's really what you want to think about, the, the feeling of just pulling the bolt straight back, not torquing it one way or the other. So that means just straight back, not towards yourself, and not uh, pushing too much on the thumb that it's pushing it that way. And then you can fire your gun. Um, one thing I've noticed, actually just because I've started thinking about this and somebody asked me, is the fact that you can rotate your body to help uh, uh, in increase your pulling power. That is, as you rotate your arms back, your, your left hand wants to move forward like that. And you're going to be gripping the base of the rifle while you're doing this. So you can use that to give you a little more oomph with just your core body. And so I'm going to uh, do that. Well, that was a little more emphasized than it was necessary, but uh, you get the idea. And then uh, one of the other important points is to emphasize the idea of smooth and fast. Um, and it's particularly important because it just gets easier. Once you get momentum going with the bolt, it's easier to carry it the rest of the way. So. I'm going to just crank off a few shots and you can see how easy it can be. So you get the idea. Um, and once you get it going, it's again easier. I'm going to turn off the camera and do some prone shots for you. And that's pretty much it. Okay, now I'm going to demonstrate some prone shots. <clears throat> okay. Um, what's important is to get really against the, the butt of your shoulder, the butt of the gun against your shoulder right in the pocket um, because you're going to be pushing back against your body. Um, and I actually, I fire like this, but when I'm cocking the rifle prone with the 170, I've found it necessary to get up and grip it right here. Then I have this kind of just free floating position, resting a pressure on my left arm, and then you just cock the rifle. So this is a little uncanny when you're on the field because you have to do some extra movement. But it's what you have to do if you want to run an M170 and uh, be effective, prone. So that's that. And lastly, I'd like to mention that every rifle is different. My M170 has been broken in, and I've used it a lot. And it's just gotten easier to do over time to cock. The comparison to a stock one, this is a stock JG Bar 10. This particular one doesn't have too much resistance in the bolt. And silicon oil on the uh, outside where the rings are is really helpful. Also, internally. So you can see this one's really quite easy to, to pull. I can just be really lackadaisical about it. Uh, on the other hand, here's a G-Spec JG Bar, 
JG G spec and it's actually got a lot of forward resistance. The reason is the uh, diameter of the stock piston is actually a lot larger than it should be. There's a lot of variance in tolerance that they manufacture. So don't feel bad if that's the case for your rifle. Um, I addressed it a little bit by sanding down the outer diameter of the piston and measuring it with calipers. But yeah, that's one of the things that can cause some resistance in your bolt.